Coach Brown starts his pressers the same way that he always does. Thank you all for being here. But after today, he had a little more excitement to exude besides winning a football game. Took a huge step today in, in continuing to rebuild the wall here. With Coach Brown going into his third season, how long and how much different was this recruiting process compared to the others? Uh, this is a two-year process. This isn't just something that started last week. This is a two-year process. This is the first uh, class that, that we've signed since so I've been the head coach that gone through the two-year process where I didn't feel like we were catching up and, and playing from behind. A big focus for Coach Brown is home. And though nine of the 18 recruits hail from Sweet Home, Alabama, home extends a little further as well. We concentrate on our home areas, and that's our home state of Alabama. You can see that. This is the third class in a row that's been heavy on Alabama student athletes. Uh, went into Georgia and Florida and Mississippi junior colleges. Those, that's our home area. We don't, we don't uh, get out of our area very often. After a season in which the Trojans finished 35th overall in defensive rankings, they did give up on average 246 yards in the air, 85th in the nation in pass defense. But no worries, Coach Brown got defensive coordinator Vic Koenig some help in the secondary, signing four defensive backs with a little bit of juice. Uh, I'm pretty sure Coach Vic will, will, will agree with me when I say this. Anytime you can have guys back there um, that, that can do the things that the guys we, we, we were able to get, you know, it makes our job a, a whole lot easier. You know, the, one, of the, one of the best things about this class, and I don't know if Coach Brown hit on it, and I didn't hear all of his stuff, you know, a lot of these guys have great competitive character. And then we got a lot of guys that got some juice to where they're going to be really fun to coach.